The second round of the 2015 Pro OC and Challenger Division Series came to a conclusion at OC Esports just a couple of days ago. In the Pro OC we see that the Kronos Pro OC got beaten by Team Pro OC EU and in the Challenger Divisions we have seven new winners as well. Well, some of them are new, some of them are returning faces. I have the trophies here on my left hand side, so let's have a look at the results. On the final leaderboard of the Pro OC 2015 Round 2 we find that Team Pro OC EU wins the round with 223 points, finishing first in both Stage 1 and Stage 2. In second place we find Kronos Pro OC with a total of 154 points, winning Stage 4. Third place is for KPC Pro OC number 2, totaling 146 points, winning Stage 5. Moving on to the first division of the Challenger series, we see that Touchep from France wins the second round as well as winning the first round. The first division is focused on a Core i7 and a single GPU graphics card and Touchep won by 6 points uh, from second place Bruno from Romania. In third place we find Dr. Wies from South Africa. A funny tidbit is that all three joined us at the World Tour this year. Division 2 is all about a Core i5 and a single graphics card, a GTX 970, GTX 780 or any AMD equivalent. In first place we find another French overclocker, Zvitorion 93, followed by the Italian Rule, and in third place we find Nicola 61 from Serbia. Division 3 is all about affordable hardware, so we're overclocking with a Pentium G3258 and on the graphics side a GTX 750 Ti or Radeon R7270 or anything below that. In first place we find Demac from Greece with a total of 198 points, which is 6 points more than Nikola 61 from Serbia, which we already saw in Division 2 as well. Third place is Sebro from Russia. We're moving on to the AMD side of overclocking. In Division 4, the overclockers have to use an AMD FX CPU, as well as one AMD graphics card, anything except for the Fury X. The winner of round 2 is Gubben from Sweden, who totals the maximum of 250 points, something he also did in round 1. That's the only overclocker who still has the maximum of points in any of the Challenger divisions, by the way. In second place we find our fellow World Tour participant Johan45 from, uh, from Canada and in third place we find TopDoc from the UK. Division 5 is all about AMD's APUs, so you can use the APU as well as the integrated graphics on that APU. At the top of the leaderboard we find two Romanians. In first place it's GGI78 and in second place it's Pasatoid, if I pronounce that nickname correctly. Third place is another World Tour participant, it's B-Boy Jazz from Indonesia. Division 6 is all about ARM and the ARM devices. So we see a tight battle between Tegra K1 on the one hand and the Snapdragon 800 series on the other hand. In first place we have Indian overclocker C is Unit 37. In second place we find Geneben from Russia and in third place we have someone from the Netherlands. Yay! Willem C700. The seventh and last division is all about legacy hardware. In round 2 we used Athlon XP together with Radeon 9000 series graphics cards or GeForce 4 graphics cards. At the top of the leaderboard we find Ross Parte from Canada who both won round 2 as well as the previous round 1 as well as joined us at the World Tour in North America earlier this year. In second place we find Quickfast from the USA and Mr. Scott on third place is also from the USA. Congratulations to everyone involved in the Challenger divisions as well as the Pro OC, in particular the winners. Don't forget that round 3 will start in early August, so check the description below for more information on the hardware requirements as well as the benchmarks that we'll be going to be using. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. If you hate the content, let us know in the comments below why. If you have a lot of uh, friends, share this video and share all of our other videos. And if you don't have any friends, you can always join our forum where there's a lot of overclocking aficionados. Thanks for watching.